What is up guys, the Good Lecture 19 here and today we'll be talking about the newly announced Demon Slayer Funko Pops. So, let us go. So, a few hours ago or basically last night from um, based on my time zone, Funko had announced the new Demon Slayer Funko Pop. So, a lot of fans of the show are wanting to have those pops and ever since last year I've been seeing comments or suggestions if uh, when will you be doing Demon Slayer Funko Pops and there are leaks that we will be getting some uh, this year or probably next year but that was still last year that those were leaked last year and it includes the four main characters plus Muzan Kibutsuji and the flop um, flop chase for um, Inosuke but I do not know what to feel about this because Funko dropped a massive announcement for the Demon Slayer pop and it's more than what we expected and what were teased last year we'll be checking out the pops one by one or maybe image by image what Funko has released last night or in some places uh, earlier today and yeah I'm pretty excited for the set for the line and I don't know if I'll be getting them all because because like I said there's way too much of them and all of them are not my cup of tea or some of them are not my cup of tea so maybe I'll just get a few here and there and let's see what happens in the next few months or so but before we get in touch with the pops make sure to like the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure to hit that subscribe button I post videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays or better yet, hit that notification bell so you will always get notified every time I make an upload. Also, you can check me out in my social media accounts in my Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook page. All of their links are in the description below. So with that being said, let us get started. So the first photo we have here is the five main comments of the line. So we have Tanjiro, Nezuko, Inosuke, Zenitsu, and Muzan Kibutsuji. I have placed a pre-order for the four of the for the four main characters except Muzan. I'm not a huge fan of Muzan or Michael Jackson. That, that most of the fans call him Michael Jackson because he does look like Michael Jackson. The first time I saw him, hey, is that isn't that Michael Jackson? <laughs> so there's that. So yeah, I need to get the four main characters because why not? They are the stars of the show. And it took me a little while, like 15 to 30 minutes before I have placed a pre-order on Bully Boy Collectibles because pre-orders went live like past 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Yeah, after my shift at work, I immediately went to their site and placed the pre-orders because pre-orders are selling out here and there. So I was lucky enough to snag the four main characters and the site had a very terrible traffic so it didn't function very well but lo and behold, I got the four main characters so that's what's important. But for sure, I'll be getting Muzan in the future. I'm just not feeling him as of the moment. So that's for the first image. Next image is, or it houses, one of my favorite pops from the set. So we have the Box Lunch Glow in the Dark Water Breathing Tanjiro. So thank God this is only a single variant or it doesn't have a glow in the dark chase because we have a few chase in the set or in the line and we'll get in touch with that later in the video this is one of the best looking pops in the line and it's a box lunch exclusive very detailed Funko pop and i can't wait to get this one in the future still looking for a pre-order though next up we have the hot topic exclusive tanjiro with a mask so this is basically from the stages where he was still training if i'm not mistaken or this was when he was taking his um uh licensing thing or applying for the demon slayer core it's been a year and a half since i have watched the show i'll probably watch it again so yeah there's that but it's not one of my favorites it's a very um standard funko pop it's just stanjiro wearing a different type of clothing plus he has his mask on here next up is one of the cutest funko pops from the set it is nezuko out of her box so this is also a box lunch exclusive it's somehow um a deluxe edition of the pop it's not just a four inch fungo pop that somehow it's looking like the baby yoda type of box but it somehow it looks like the the shawarma scene in avengers one the box uh in, bo in terms of the box and i think you understand where i'm going with this so there's that next up we have is this a box lunch i think it's a box lunch exclusive I think it's also a Hot Topic exclusive 
keychain or pop keychain of Nezuko. So it's a smaller version of the 4 inch one, the common Nezuko. And I'm not into the pop keychains, I'm more of a 4 inch Funko Pop collector. So there's that. But it looks good, it's, look, it, it's nice, it's cute. So that's it for the second picture. So for the third picture, we have is the Galactic Toys exclusive Tanjiro using a fire breathing technique and it also has a glow in the dark chase. As for the exclusives, this Galactic Toys exclusive is I think my third favorite from the exclusives out of all the announcements. So yeah, it's Tanjiro swinging his Nichiren sword with the fire breathing technique and the pop also has a nice base and glows in the dark plus the flame on his Nichiren sword. So yeah, that's one. That's why it's one of my favorites from the set because hey, it's a glow in the dark and it has a nice base to it. So the next couple of pops is we have the Chase Collectibles Inosuke with the flocked variant chase or the common one has a flocked version with the mask on. The flocked chase has an unmasked Inosuke and the one that is flocked are the ruffles around his um, shorts or his jeans, whatever you call it, or his trousers. You know what I mean. So I'm not sure if I'm getting this because we already have Inosuke but it's just, it's just a common. In my opinion, the common exclusive is way better than the Chase one because it features Inosuke with a mask on and hey, it's flopped. So you get a little of this and a little of that in one pop. So there, I mean the pop pretty much speaks for itself. So. But nonetheless, a Chase is a Chase and it's just not my cup of tea. That's it for the third pick. Nothing much going around with that. And the last picture it houses the moments where Tanjiro is versing Rui in the AAA anime exclusive Giyu Tomioka Funko Pop. So the first one is the moment. So this one is where Tanjiro was dueling or versing Rui. Rui is one of my favorite demons in the show. He has a very sad backstory. He has a he has nice skills. He has great he has awesome powers if you call it powers. So in this uh, moments pop this is the very first time Tanjiro used the Breath of the Sun because his family passed down the secrets of the Breath of the Sun that's why he was able to use it. It was in the form of the Dance of the Fire God Hinokami Kagura. And if you can also remember, it was also the first time when um, Nezuko used the Blood Demon art. That is one epic scene in the, in the show. I really love that. I really love the whole fighting sequence there. And it's one of my favorite uh, arcs in the first season and yeah Rui dying is also one of the saddest parts of the series and the last but not the least Funko Pop of this set that, that we'll be talking about is the AAA anime exclusive Gyo Tomioka so Gyo is one of the pillars of one of the Hashiras that uses a fire a water breathing technique so this pop features strides of water all over Gyo he has a perfect base he has an awesome base he has his Nichirin sword out. So this is one of the pops that I'm looking forward to get because aside from the, it's easy to get because of the triple anime exclusive sticker. It is also awesome, it, it is very dope. There's a lot of stuff going around the pop so I don't want to miss this pop. It's, and Gyo is one of my favorite Hashiras or one of my favorite pillars. And hopefully we'll get a Shinobu Kocho in the future. And I'm really um, skeptical or I'm really worried if Funko will announce this as another convention exclusive Funko Pop. I mean, it's, that's not a problem as long as it's not a Funko Shop exclusive or a Funko Shop shared. Like, it would cause collectors such stress just like the Nejere Hado Funko Shop shared. It was a stress, stress, it was a stressful convention to say the least last ECCC. So I'm hoping I do not care if it's a convention exclusive as long as it's very easy to get a hold of. So that's my take on that. And for sure, in the future, Funko will release more of the Hashiras. Um, I'm not giving any ideas because that's probably a possibility in the future. So yeah, there's that. And rating this drop of the Kimetsu no Yaba or the Demon Slayer Funko Pops, I would give it an 8 out of 10 rating because most of the pops are very awesome. Most are mostly are very detailed. They all have unique bases. They all have unique displays, unique details all around them. And yeah, we got chases off the bat. So 
that's it for me 8 out of 10 yeah if you have any opinions about the set or about the line this is the kickstarter line of the show Funko wise let me know your thoughts about the line or about the set and how would you rate them as well and if you want to cop some make sure to visit our accredited retailers here in the philippines their websites their facebook pages if ever they are still offering some so i can hope you can score yours your exclusives your comments your chases and whatever you want to get or whatever you wish to get from the set i hope you can get all of them so that's it for my take guys about this demon slayer funko pops that funko just announced a few hours back so once again let me know your thoughts about the set and leave them in the comments down below so that wraps up for another video in the channel and as always guys make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new hit that post notification bell and make sure to check me out in my social media accounts so once again guys this has been the collector Thanks for watching, let's collect, and I'll see you in the next video.